Hi there Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 18th of January. You may still find yourself grappling with a financial issue or the basic foundations of your world. With Mercury combining with Pluto from the start of this week through to the end of the month, this intensity is really going to go on for the next two weeks. Both are also squaring up with the planets of the impulsive, which is Uranus, which is particularly impulsive in the sign of Aries. This could see you in the mood to spend money and break free of any restrictions that you've even given yourself only recently, especially when it comes to the January sales. On the other hand, you may have a serious situation to work with where someone owes you some money and you're having to be very patient and perhaps ingenious in terms of finding ways to just persuade them to cough up and give you what's rightly yours back. But it's also true that if you are buying anything that you're particularly aware of the receipts involved and making sure that what you think you're paying for you're getting. With Mercury continuing to twist backwards, any kind of misunderstanding is still much likelier now. Your ruling planet Jupiter is also clashing with Venus, which is in your sign, in the first half of this week. This could see you really laying on the charm if you feel that someone will respond much better to a little bit of stroking as well as the resolve to get what you want. Now that stroking and preening and charming can work well as long as you mean it. But if you don't mean it, someone could feel that you're, you are being a bit insincere. So be careful with that. However, your ability to persuade does crank up from Thursday when the sun makes its way into the sign of Aquarius. And also, Mars continues to forge a very useful link to Neptune, suggesting the more you listen to your hunches and take a more nuanced and subtle approach to all sorts of issues, the more progress you will make. By the end of this week, there is something to truly celebrate because Venus moves into the most uh, fortuitous part of your scope for everyday finances. And you may find that some kind of breakthrough does come on the back of its transit over the following 28 days through this part of your horoscope. But there's also a full moon. And if you do need to talk to someone, consider any kind of formal approach, written contract, or travel, make sure that you're meticulously clear in how you go about this. Because with Mercury, which governs all these areas too, twisting backwards, as I say, it's doing its best to cause mischief for us all. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.